Over the years, I've learned a lot about how to handle naturally unnatural mind and body states, even, God forbid, hangovers. The most obvious way, of course, to avoid a hangover is not to drink. But if you do drink, then choose only the best, be it wine, whiskey, or whatever, but never overdo it. You know, you don't need alcohol to be able to dance on tables and celebrate. The best alcohols to drink are those with the fewest, always unpleasant chemicals known as congeners, because they upset your whole system. King of all the alcohols when it comes to purity and low levels of congeners is tequila. It's a drink that I suggest you make good use of over the holidays, but here's the gin. If you decide to make yourself a margarita, make it from real tequila. So much of the stuff that they sell out there that's called tequila is filled with a lot of insidious chemicals which you don't want to put into your body. Agave, which just about everyone thinks of as cactus, is in truth a succulent belonging to the lily family. And the finest blue agave comes from the highlands of Jalisco, Mexico. It has to be harvested at the peak of its sweetness. My brother, whom I adoringly call Toto, is a connoisseur of tequilas. He insists, and I have checked this out, and recommend and trust his suggestions implicitly, that the finest tequila is made by Patron. Patron Ultra Premium Tequila is the world's highest quality tequila. It's been handcrafted from 100% blue agave, and it's superb, as fine as the finest of malt whiskey, which I actually look upon as an art form. Añejo Patron is Toto's favorite tequila. Silver Patron is my own favorite. Aaron, my youngest son, has created a fabulous recipe for margaritas using Patron, and it's very simple. Let me tell you how. To a handful of ice in our Vitamix, he adds four jiggers of freshly squeezed lemon or lime juice, four jiggers of either silver or Añejo Patron, two jiggers of Cointreau or Grand Marnier, I prefer the Grand Marnier, a couple of jiggers of water, and the creme de la creme, a dropper or two of the most delicious stevia in the world, English toffee sweet leaf stevia. It's so much more delicious than the usual sugar or syrup, which is really rather revolting. He turns on the Vitamix for 30 seconds while he rubs the rim of each glass with one of the lemon or lime skins and then plunges it into a saucer of Himalayan salt to coat the rim. This makes margaritas for four people. It is a perfect hangover-free treat to share with friends over Christmas. It's great stuff for dancing on tables if you're so inclined, too. Now, let's get back to hangovers that come from drinking stuff which is not so pure or just drinking too much of anything. Drinking lots of pure water before you go out for the evening and then continuing to get plenty of good quality clean water along with alcohol later, this does help to prevent the dehydration and ghastly headaches that come with an overindulgent evening. And there are a couple of important things that you can do the next morning, too, to help restore your equilibrium. First thing on waking, make yourself a cup of ginger or peppermint tea. Put two teaspoons of the dried leaves or four teaspoons of the fresh leaves into a teapot and pour a cup of boiling water over it. Steep for five to ten minutes and then sip it gently. The peppermint or the ginger will settle your stomach. But also, breathing in the steam from your tea can help ease any headache that you might have. Then, once your stomach is settled enough to handle more, take 2 to 3 grams of vitamin C. That's 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams. And 2 to 3 grams of evening primrose oil or star flower oil or borage oil. Vitamin C's antioxidant properties help your liver clear the toxic waste from too much alcohol. The GLA in the oils is turned into prostaglandin E1, which is an important regulator of mood, and alcohol undermines your mood. When your mood is low, you can feel depressed and very tired. Also, don't forget St. Mary's thistle. It's also known as milk thistle. 
It's a marvelous liver cleanser and supporter. Take two capsules or a teaspoon of tincture in the little water every three or four hours until you're feeling human again. If you can in your current state, remember where you last saw it, reach for some dried borage. Open the jar or put it in a paper bag, hold your nose over the bag and take a deep breath. Nobody's ever been able to explain to me how borage works this magic, but doing this can clear your head wonderfully. I've also heard that taking ginkgo before you go out for an evening can help you prevent hangovers by enhancing your body's ability to metabolize alcohol swiftly. But you know what? I've never learned how much you should take or how long before drinking alcohol you should take it. Nevertheless, if you are taking ginkgo for other reasons, pay attention to how you feel after a glass or two of wine and see if this makes a difference. Let me know, will you? Good luck.